Christmas University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello, it's the last of the first round matches tonight. Out of the 12 teams who've entertained us thus far, the alumni of Leeds University, Trinity Hall, Cambridge and University College London will definitely return and play again in the semi-finals. Wadham College Oxford will do so too, unless tonight's winning team can spoil Christmas for them by scoring 165 or more. Playing for Warwick University first is a journalist perhaps best known for his weekly economics agenda column in the Sunday Telegraph, for which he's won a British Press Award. He also writes for The Spectator and The Sun. He's been economics correspondent for Channel 4 News and continues to write and present dispatches also for Channel 4. His colleague has a lengthy CV as an actor with television roles in Mr Selfridge, Black Mirror, Humans and the psychological thriller Cheat. And we're soon to see him in the World War I film Clay Kickers and a film adaptation of Daphne du Maurier's Rebecca. Theatre roles include Sir Lancelot in Spamalot, for which he received an Olivier Award nomination. Their captain is an award-winning BBC journalist and broadcaster who's presented Any Questions, Woman's Hour, PM and many documentaries. Her current programme focuses on international and national affairs and she's presented it from Guantanamo Bay and several countries, including Brazil, China and India. She's also an ambassador for the British Asian Trust. Their fourth player did his initial training at Porton Down and while at Warwick studied the genetic variability of HIV. He's worked on the development of vaccines and antibodies for a range of viruses, including Lassa fever and Ebola virus. Having recently become active in the public understanding of science, he's worked at the BBC Science Unit and has presented a Radio 4 series on biohacking. Let's meet the Warwick team. I'm Liam Halligan. I graduated from Warwick in economics in 1991, and now I'm a newspaper columnist, author and broadcaster. Hello, I'm Tom Goodman-Hill. I also graduated in 1991 with a BA in drama and English and a teaching qualification. I'm an actor. This is their captain. I'm Rithala Shah. I graduated from Warwick in history in 1988 and I present The World Tonight on Radio 4. Hello, I'm Jonathan Ball. I graduated from Warwick in 1994 with a PhD in virology and I work at the University of Nottingham as a professor of molecular virology and I'm also a regular media science commentator. The first player for Imperial College London was made a dame for her services to health, safety and engineering and for being a role model for young women. She was also awarded a CBE for services to the chemical industries. Following the fire at Grenfell Tower in 2017, she was asked by the government to conduct an independent review into building regulations and fire safety relating to high-rise buildings. That was published in 2018. With her is a columnist for The Observer as well as being a presenter of several TV and radio documentaries and a panellist on Radio 4's The Moral Maze. He's the author of many books, including From Fatwa to Jihad, How the World Changed from the Satanic Verses to Charlie Hebdo, which was shortlisted for the Orwell Book Prize, and Strange Fruit, Why Both Sides Are Wrong in the Race Debate, which was nominated for the Royal Society's Science Book Prize. Their captain is an engineer tasked with injecting thrills into virtual reality experiences. His thrill laboratory is used by the Science Museum in London and by Disneyland Paris, and his virtual reality playground was displayed at the 2018 Cultural Olympiad at Seoul. His Discovery Channel show Engineering Thrills has been viewed by over a billion people worldwide. Their fourth player is the author of a paper which is the most cited of any to appear in The Lancet, and it's one of the most cited papers ever written. Before taking up his current position, he worked at both St George's and St Thomas's Hospital Medical Schools, as well as a stint at ICI, and he's the author and co-author of seminal works on medical statistics. Let's meet the Imperial team. Hello, I'm Judith Hackett. I graduated from Imperial with a degree in chemical engineering in 1975 and received an honorary doctorate in 2018. I now have a portfolio career in the engineering and manufacturing sector. Hi, I'm Kenan Malik. 
I studied for a master's in the history of science and medicine back in the 90s, and now I'm an author and newspaper columnist. And this is their captain. Hello, I'm Brendan Walker. I graduated from Imperial College in 1993, studying aeronautical engineering, and after a couple of twists and turns, I'm now the world's only thrill engineer. Hello, I'm Martin Bland. I graduated with a degree in mathematics in 1968 and then with a master's degree in statistics in 1969. And I am now Emeritus Professor of Health Statistics at the University of York. The rules don't change on this show. Starter questions are solo efforts worth 10 points. Bonuses are worth 15 and they can be answered by the team collectively through your captain, please. Fingers on the buzzers, here's your first starter for 10. The fictional town of Bedford Falls is the setting for which 1946 Warwick Ball? It's a Wonderful Life. Correct. <laughs> you get three bonuses on nursery rhymes, Warwick. Flower of England, fruit of Spain, met together in a shower of rain. Put in a bag tied round with string. If you tell me this riddle, I'll give you a ring. What seasonal offering is being described? A pomanda. A pomanda. A pomanda. No, it's a Christmas pudding or a plum pudding. Mm -hmm. Secondly, which of Beatrix Potter's title characters recites the plum pudding and other riddles to taunt Old Brown, the owl? Squirrel Nutkin. Correct. Owl Island, in the tale of Squirrel Nutkin, is generally reckoned to be St Herbert's Island, in which body of water immediately to the south of Keswick? Lake Windermere. No, it's Derwent Water. <laughs> Ten points for this. First performed in 1920, which piece of classical music was named in first position in the Classic FM Hall of Fame in 2019, three places above its composer's next higher century, Fantasia on a Theme by Thomas Tallis. Imperial Malik. Vaughan Williams' Lark Rising. I'll accept that. It's normally called the Lark Ascending. <laughs> right, you get a set of bonuses, Imperial, on given names with festive connotations. Allowing for minor variations of spelling, can you give the single name that links the following? Firstly, the actress who plays Claire Underwood in the American television series House of Cards and the Barbadian singer better known by her middle name, Rihanna. Robin. Robin is correct. Secondly, the journalist who broke the Cambridge Analytica scandal and the author of the 1993 novel The Stone Diaries. Carol. Carol is correct, yes, Cadwallader and Shields. And lastly, the actress who played Ada McGrath in The Piano and the co-author of The Spiderwick Chronicles. Don't know. It's Holly, as in Holly Hunter and Holly Black. Ten points for this. Released during acute stress, which hormone increases the output of blood from the heart and... Warwick Ball! Adrenaline. Adrenaline is correct, yes. Your bonuses are on a fruit. Named after a Californian judge who first grew them in his garden, loganberries are commonly believed to be a hybrid of which two fruits? Blackberry and cranberry. No, it's blackberry and raspberry. And secondly, which small purple fruit, often called a berry, grows on a palm tree and is sold dried or powdered as a dietary supplement for its high antioxidant content. Beets. Mm. Uh, date. Antioxidant. Should we say goji? Is it goji berries? Palm tree. Is that berry? No, it's an acai berry. The wind in the willows played love's sweet melody, but all of those vows you made were never to be. Which fruit appears in the title of the song containing that complaint? Absolutely. Blackberry. 
No, that's Blueberry Hill, of course. Ten points for this. It's a picture round. For your picture starter, you're going to see the starting lineup of a football team that won the European Cup. Ten points if you can give me the team's manager. Warren Shaw. Oh, it's Liverpool, but I can't think. Sorry, don't know. Sorry, if you buzz, you yeah. must answer straight away. So, anyone want to buzz from Imperial? Uh, Imperial Malik. Bob Paisley. Bob Paisley is correct, yes. <laughs> 2019 was the centenary of the birth of the former Liverpool manager Bob Paisley, one of the most successful managers in British football history. Following on from the winning lineup of his record setting third European Cup triumph, three more questions on his managerial achievements with Liverpool. Firstly, which London club is missing from this Division I table from the year of Paisley's first league championship victory? Tottenham Hotspur. No, it's QPR. Tottenham Hotspur's there at nine. Oh. <laughs> Secondly, this map shows the location of which club Paisley's Liverpool team defeated them in a European Cup final to claim the title for the first time. Yeah. Nominate Malik. Borussia Mönchengladbach. Correct. And finally, you're going to see the starting level of the team beaten by Liverpool in their first League Cup winning final. Name the club. West Ham. West Ham. It was West Ham. Well done. <laughs> right, ten points for this. Identify the poet who wrote these lines. But when the snows at Christmas on Breeden Top were strown, my love rose up so early and stole out... Imperial a Bland. A.E. Houseman. A. Houseman is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses are on seminal scientific papers by Nobel laureates. Identify the author of each paper. Firstly, on a heuristic point of view concerning the emission and transformation of light, published in Annalen der Physik in 1905. Einstein. Albert Einstein is correct. Secondly, specific enzymatic amplification of DNA sequences in vitro. The polymerase chain reaction published for the 1986 Cold Spring Harbour Symposium on quantitative biology. Watson. No, that was Mulis. And finally, the role of citric acid in intermediate metabolism in animal tissues, published in Enzymologia in 1937, after being rejected by the journal Nature. Nominate Malik. Nanis Pauling. No, that's by Hans Krebs. Ten points for this. A 2019 report described the remains of Heracles Enexpectatus, found in New Zealand in 2008 as the largest known example of what bird at about a metre tall ah, and weighing Imperial over... Imperial Bland. A moa? No. Oh, and weighing over seven... You lose five points. And weighing over seven kilograms, it would have been twice as heavy as the kakapo, the previously known largest. Or at Goodman Hill. Ostrich. That's a parrot. Ten points for this. In 2005, which US cult film director released a compendium of his favourite Christmas songs, featuring titles such as Here Comes Fatty Claws? His films ah. include... Imperial Walker. Tarantino. No. You lose five points. His films include Multiple Maniacs and Pink Flamingos, the latter being part of the Trash Trilogy. Name. Nobody knows? No. It's John Waters. Right, ten points for this. The name of what city appears in informal names for Mozart's Divertimenti K136 to 138? The composer was born in the city in 1756. Warwick Ball. Vienna. No. Ah. Imperial Malik. Salzburg. Salzburg is correct, yes. <laughs> 
Right, Imperial, these bonuses are on animal names derived from African languages. I'd like you to identify the animal in each case. First, it's name deriving from the Fiat language of Central Africa, which genus of old world monkeys has a long face and cheek pouches for holding food. Its species include the Barbary and the Rhesus. Macaque. Correct. Of Zulu origin, what is the common name of Epicyros melampus, an athletic antelope common on the savannas of southern Africa? Springbok. No, it's the Impala. And finally, also of Zulu origin, the common name for large venomous snakes of the genus Dendro aspis, the black species, is one of Africa's most dangerous snakes. Mamba. Mamba is correct, yes. <laughs> right, we're going to take a music round now. For your music starter, you'll hear a piece of classical music. Ten points if you can give me the name of its composer. Goodman Hill. Purcell? No. You can hear a little more Imperial if you like. Imperial Malik. Handel? No, it's part of Bach's Christmas Oratorio, so we'll take the music bonuses in a moment or two, but ten points at stake for this. Fingers on the buzzers, please. 61 cubic inches is an approximation of what unit of the metric system? White ball. Cubic metre. No, anybody like to buzz from Imperial? Imperial Walker. A litre. Correct. Now, since you so miserably failed to identify Bach's Christmas Oratorio, <laughs> you'll be delighted to hear you've got music bonuses on three more pieces based on the shepherd's part of the Christmas story. Name the composer in each case. Firstly, this piece, which is also part of an oratorio. Now, that's by Berlioz. It's the shepherd's farewell from the childhood of Christ. Secondly, the composer of this carol. Bernstein. No, it's John Rutter, the Shepherd's Pipe Carol, and finally this piece, which is part of a suite. Chopin. No, that's by list. Right, ten points for this. In 2019, President Trump's interest in buying Greenland echoed that of which of his predecessors, who'd attempted to purchase the island from Denmark 73 years beforehand? Warwickshire. John Adamson. No. Imperial, one of you, Buzz? Imperial Bland. Roosevelt. No, it was after him. It was Harry S. Truman. Right. Ten points for this, then. Which English artist's works include two paintings with titles beginning with the words Snowstorm? 
One depicts Hannibal and his army crossing the Alps. Imperial Malik Turner. Turner is correct. Well done. <laughs> Imperial, your bonuses are on a historical figure. Olivia Colman won the Best Actress Award at the 2019 Oscars ceremony for a fictionalised role based on which historical figure? Queen Anne. Correct. Queen Anne customarily used the name Mrs Freeman in her private letters to refer to her so-called favourite, Sarah Churchill. What name did she use for herself? Jenkins. That was Mrs Morley. Also in her private letters, which of her relatives did Anne refer to disparagingly as Mr Caliban? The king. There was no king when Queen Anne was on the throne. <laughs> that was William of Orange. You don't get the points. Right, ten points for this. What colour links the retinal pigment rhodopsin, a US military decoration for wounds or death in action? Warwick Halligan. Purple. Purple is correct, yes. <laughs> right, your bonuses, Warwick, are on shorter words that can be formed from the letters in the word nutcracker. First, a word meaning straying or wandering. It may follow the word night or precede the word husband? Errant. Errant is correct, yes. Secondly, a powerful poison obtained from Strychnos toxifera and other plants of tropical South America. Come on. Pass. Come on. Pass. It's curare. And finally, a diacritical mark on a letter used, for example, to indicate stress or different qualities of sound. Accent. Yeah. Yeah. Accent. Accent is correct, yes. <laughs> We're going to get the second picture round. Your picture starter, you'll see a portrait of a British Prime Minister. Ten points if you can identify him. Warwick Shaw. Disraeli. Doesn't look at all like Disraeli. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone like to buzz for Imperial? Uh, Imperial Malik. Rosebury. No, it's the second Earl Grey, Charles Grey. So we'll take the picture bonuses in a moment or two. Ten points for this starter question. Who oversaw a run of Neil Simon's musical Sweet Charity in her final production as artistic director of the Donmar Warehouse in 2019? Uh, Warwick Goodman Hill. Josie O'Rourke. It's Josie Rourke, I'll accept uh, yeah, Rourke, exactly. though. <laughs> You're recording for a picture of the second Earl Grey who won the general election in which polling was conducted for almost a month from early December 1832. The only election since the 1707 Act of Union in which polls were open on Christmas Day. For your bonuses, identify three more Prime Ministers who led governments after elections held wholly or partly in December. Firstly... No, no idea. We're going to pass. You can't pass on that. <laughs> it's too easy. Everybody would recognise him. It's William Ewart Gladstone. Gladstone. Secondly, this Prime Minister who won the last UK general election to be held over several days. <laughs> you don't need to, bu to oh, buzz. Is that, can just is that keep... Bona Law? No, it's not Bona Law. It's <laughs> very obviously Herbert Asquith. And finally, this Prime Minister, please. Harold Macmillan. Lloyd George. Lloyd George. Lloyd George is correct. Well done. <laughs> right, ten points for this. The English chemist Dorothy Hodgkin received the 1964 Nobel Prize for her discoveries via X-ray techniques of the structure of various molecules, including what specific vitamin? 
Warwick Ball. B12. B12 is correct. <laughs> Warwick, these bonuses are on a style of architecture. Stourhead House in Wiltshire is an example of what architectural style? Characterised by symmetry and strict proportion, it's named after a 16th century Venetian. Palladium. 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 Correct. One of the three principal orders of ancient Greek and Roman architecture, which style of column is a characteristic of Palladian design? It's typically decorated with stylized motifs based on the leaves of the acanthus plant. Corinthian. Correct. Which architect is credited with introducing the Palladian style to England? His works include the Queen's House in Greenwich and the Banqueting Hall in Whitehall. Sir John Soane? No, it's Inigo Jones. Ten points for this. LIA is an abbreviation denoting which climate interval? Occurring from the early 14th to the mid 19th century, it was marked by the expansion. Uh, Imperial Malik. Little Ice Age. Little Ice Age is correct. <laughs> Imperial, your bonuses are on UK number one singles of 1969. In each case, name the band or act that released the following. Firstly, for five points, which band released Bad Moon Rising? <laughs> Nominate Malik. Creedence Clearwater Revival. Correct. Second, which US duo released in the year 2525 Exordium and Terminus? Sega and Evans. Correct. And finally, which US artist released I Heard It Through the Grapevine? Marvin Gaye. Correct. Ten points for this. Which British author's novels include his 1988 debut, The Swimming Pool Library? <laughs> well, it wasn't the highest scoring match of the series, but <laughs> thank you very much for taking part. You didn't have to do it. No one made you at all, so thank you very much for joining us. We now know the teams in the semi-final stage of the competition. They will be Leeds University, Trinity Hall, Cambridge, University College, London and Wadham College, Oxford. I hope you can join us for, for the first of those semi-finals. Until then, though, it's goodbye from Warwick University. Goodbye. goodbye. It's goodbye from Imperial College, London. Goodbye. goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye.